Hello everyone, my name is Adam Nowicki, for those of you who don't know me. Um, I am a teacher in uh, Manatee County School District, and with the COVID-19 crisis and issues going on, I saw some people in my community asking for help. I did some research and figured out a way to quickly and pretty economically uh, make some face shields that um, the medical community is in desperate need of. So first thing you want to do is... Um, what I found was this print right here. It's off of prusaprinters.org. I pick the revision two, and I don't bother with this bottom part. I don't think it's necessary. Um, those are pretty easy to 3D print. Uh, the size you're looking at, so this is uh, one of them actually printed. And um, for a frame of reference, the size is approximately uh, it's about you know seven and a half eight inches wide and then you need to think about uh, here it's about let's see about six inches back so your print bed would have to be able to handle this because it has to be all in one piece you notice these tabs here that stick out these are for the uh, protective plastic shield that goes in front so a couple steps to this uh, I, these take about anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours to print you only need about a 10 or 15 percent infill. Uh, you don't need rafts or supports. At least I don't use them on my printer. Um, here is the setup file for mine. I'm using a Dremel 3D40 printer, and I don't add supports. I don't add rafts, anything like that. I just let it print and then uh, take them off. So the next part of that is in order to wear this comfortably. Uh, this is not the softest material right it's hard plastic so what I did was I found foam with an adhesive backing you can find foam material on Amazon um, this is actually weather stripping and it ends up working pretty well so this adhesive sticks on here and then it offers some padding uh, for, for the wearer uh, the other thing is it's really hard to find elastic right now on the Prusa site they're using this um, elastic that has these pre-cut slots in it I couldn't find many to purchase uh, but I did find some wide one inch um it's got like a fuzzy i tried making my own cut in this one this is all i have left um, but uh, it comes without the hole in it and then what i would do is i would take hair ties and i would fold this over and i would just do a back and forth stitch to make sure that's secure and then when all is said and done it could loop around here both sides uh, if they needed to tighten it the wearer could loop it double loop it, that kind of thing, so that it's uh, somewhat adjustable and pretty hardy. Um, if you don't have that kind of one inch elastic, you can get these thick hair ties on Amazon pretty cheap, and then you can just do a, a triple, right? And then you can hook it here. And again, you can loop it over itself and that kind of thing. And then there you go, there's that. Now for the plastic, the other issue is a lot of people are having a hard time finding this plastic. All this is is lamination sleeve ran through the laminator once with nothing in it and then in order to line up so that it snaps onto here um, I cut small strips of double-sided duct tape so that's strong enough to hold it and then for the holes I modified a three hole punch and lined it up so when I line it up here on one end I put it in And I punch the hole, then I take it and I flip it, and then I punch the next hole, and then it's on. All right, and with the addition of the double sided duct tape, you only need a little strip here, three little strips. It's it, that's it. You have the foam here, you're good, and you're ready to go. Uh, the longest part of this time is the uh, my dog is saying hi here uh, the longest part of the manufacturing time is the actual printing um, but once they're actually off the printer it's super fast I have two extra uh, printer beds so to speak that as soon as they come off the printer I take them off I put the new bed in I hit print then I take it off the bed so that I can get everything manufactured I hope that helps if you have any questions feel free to reach out and email me it's adamnowicki at gmail.com all right, and let me put that up on the screen for you. I've had multiple uh, people who work in healthcare 
ask for more of these. I made, you know, just in spare time, not even hardcore manufacturing, 30 last week. Um, I'm going to be handing out another 40 this week, and I've had a hospital actually contact me. And so that's why I'm kind of trying to rally the troops, so to speak. Uh, the more people we have working on these, the better. A, a lot of people are out there making the face masks. That's not my skill set. I tried making a few. It takes me a long time. So I'm going to focus on the shields. And if you want to help, now you know how to help. Reach out to me. I'll share whatever I can with you. We're all in this together. Let's help those who are help keeping us safe and healthy. Thank you.